Fetching data. Error. Analysis fails. Paddy. Wong. Wishes. Danger. Xiang Li. Help. Help. I gotcha. Something seems to have malfunctioned with you. I'll take care of it. One moment. Run onboard diagnostics. Command initiator, Xian Li Yao. Authentication confirmed. Performing onboard diagnostics. Number 231. Onboard diagnostics failed. Feltering switches. Beep beep. Waiting for a brighter future. Glory on the battlefield. Abandon hope of loved ones returning home. Beep beep. Hmm. It's possible that Patty's memory is overloaded with wishes, leading to anomalies mixed within. Wishes. Analyzing cause. 21 solutions have been provided. Correction. 12. Correction. 4. Wishes. And solutions. Could this relate to what Chisha said about someone at Moon Tree Lodge making wishes come true? And Xiang Li Yao. The name sounds familiar. Perhaps. Isolating abnormal data. Running data correction. There. Give it another go, Patty. Performing onboard diagnostics. All systems normal. Patty feels full. That should do the trick for now. But where could the anomalies have... I apologize for keeping you waiting. It's just a temporary measure. I'll need to conduct a thorough examination later. Thank you for returning him to me. Yes. I've heard a lot about you from my colleagues at the Academy. Many of them are eager to meet you. I hope their enthusiasm hasn't been too overwhelming for you. Xiang Li Yao, a pleasure to meet you. I regret that I was away during your first visit to the Academy, but I'm glad to finally have the chance to meet you. I merely provided a few ideas, but I'm glad I was able to help. I was assisting the Ministry of Development with the damaged surveillance tower. By the time I returned to the lab, you'd already left. The next time I heard any news about you was regarding the battle at the Norfall Barrens. This year's Moon Chasing Festival could only have proceeded thanks to your efforts. Well, come to think of it, I should be thanking you personally. The Moon Tree Lodge wouldn't have opened as planned if it weren't for you. I'm afraid I'm not the owner of the Moon Tree Lodge. I'm just here to assist, collecting and trying to fulfill everyone's wishes. However, I do hope you can keep that between us. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. Seeing everyone's wishes come true and everyone enjoying the festival is enough for me. Fulfilling wishes. Guest. Apologies. Patty doesn't mean anything strange by that. Patty was born in the Moon Tree Lodge. It deciphers the emotions behind wishes, analyzing their structure in a unique way. To Patty, every wish has a unique taste. You can think of it as Patty's way of understanding the world. Besides bringing Patty back, I presume you're here to make a wish as well? In that case, may I suggest we head over to the wishing stall for a chat? It's not far from here. Welcome. I, I wish I could extend a warmer greeting, but Patty has run into some technical difficulties. We cannot accept new wishes at Moon Tree Lodge until I resolve the issue. I apologize for the inconvenience. 
I would be glad to take note of your wish and have it prioritized once everything is resolved. How intriguing. In that case, I promise to do everything I can to make your wish a reality at the festival. For now, I must concentrate on restoring the Moon Tree Lodge as quickly as possible. In a nutshell, it appears Patty's malfunction is more than a straightforward data error. At first, I suspected an overload of Patty's analysis module due to an accumulation of wishes over the years. However, during my recent testing, I discovered unusual codes embedded within Patty's database. Like a virus, they spread drastically with the addition of each wish. Additionally, although it was only for a brief moment, I detected abnormal frequency fluctuations after connecting Patty to my terminal. In theory, a robot's data should not generate such fluctuations. It's too early to draw a conclusion just yet, but I can't leave the matter unresolved. It'll only be a matter of time before all the wishes stored in the Moon Tree Lodge are devoured by this abnormal code. I've isolated the four wishes with unreadable codes, pinpointing the source of the discrepancies. I plan to track down whoever made these wishes, try to fulfill them, and uncover the root cause of these anomalies. But before that, I need to try to decode the wishes corrupted by these anomalies. To minimize data loss, it would be best to complete this a week before the Moon Chasing Festival. It does have its challenges, but everyone's hopes and dreams for the festival are in these wishes. I don't intend to let them down. Yes. Ying Yang and the rest have set their hearts on this festival. I appreciate the gesture, but I wouldn't want to trouble you. <laughs> I see. Thank you. Well then, the Moon Tree Lodge welcomes its newest member. Seems we have a new friend now, Patty. You, Chen Li Yao, and Patty, wish it come true. Organize Moonlit Fair. Yes, the lodge opens to the public before the Moonlit Fair, but it still remains an important element of the festivities. The market vendors like to tailor their offerings according to everyone's wishes. There will be many interesting activities on the day of the fair, and preparations are well underway. Perhaps some of your friends will be among those attending. If you're interested, you can go and take a look yourself. The Academy. <sighs> Initiating analysis. This individual wishes to disappear from this world, indicating a desire to terminate their existence and for all associated social connections to be erased. Feasibility, zero percent. Causing physical harm or manipulating human memories are actions strictly prohibited. Uh, this is Shang Li, Patty's work buddy. Patty gathers and analyzes the wishes, and Shang Li helps make them become a reality. A good eye. Shang Li is indeed a very reliable companion. Analysis conclusion. The wish exhibits strong self-denial and self-destructive tendencies, indicating a high level of danger. Prompt physical care and psychological intervention are advised. Patty does not understand this wish. Patty does not, cannot hurt humans. Just as I've suspected. 
This is the reason why this wish failed to be interpreted. The desire to disappear directly conflicts with Paddy's underlying logic of not being able to harm humans. Written words are different from data. Data represent precise and unified content, while words may harbor meanings deeper than they seem on the surface. It is often the case that words spoken aloud sometimes contradict our innermost thoughts. Those willing to entrust their wishes to the Moon Tree Lodge hope their desires will be chosen and fulfilled. This suggests that Xiao Sheng still hopes for his voice to be heard. This is just my personal belief, but I suspect he's not truly ready to give up. I think the thought pains him, which means he's... Yes, I believe that is the case. I want to uncover the true desire hidden in his wish and help him fulfill it. Will fulfilling his true wish help to ease his suffering? Yes, I hope it will. We should start by locating the wisher. If I recall correctly, there is no Shaosheng at the Academy, so it's likely a pseudonym. Fortunately, we know that he's a researcher, so it shouldn't be too difficult for us to find him. And this paper, it's from a type of notebook commonly used at the Academy. There are faint traces of another type of writing on it. Seems to be some kind of code. I'll decipher these codes, and then we can... Uh, oh, uh, excuse me. Investigator Shang Li, we have a problem. We've got trouble in the lab. Prototype 49's core has gone out of control. Emergency protocols failed, and it's overheating as we speak. Lock down the lab. I'm on my way. What about the experiment logs? Already sent to your terminal, sir. All right. Tell everyone to stay calm. We still have time. There's been a momentary setback in the research. I I'm afraid I'll have to leave the task of finding Xiaosheng to you. Thank you. I'll meet up with you as soon as I have the issue resolved. Here, take Xiang Li with you to help with the investigation. I already have a few speculations as to the contents of the code. I'll call you once it's confirmed. Good luck, my friend. It is wonderful to have someone to support you on the journey to achieve greatness in research. It seems even without our help, this wish has been fulfilled. This in turn indicates that Xiaosheng's wish is not the source of the abnormal codes. I grow ever more confident with you around. Now, we should make our way back to the Moon Tree Lodge. Wish, choose. Their questions might not reflect their deepest wishes, and it's not our place to answer them. It's sad that she seems to be in the same place that Shifan was, but they both wanted help. So aside from helping her make a choice, the... Indeed, the wish shows a struggle between her longing and a promise she made to her son. She speaks of another world, likely hinting her child has passed away 
leaving her alone with nobody to care for her. We can't draw a conclusion solely based on words alone. I'm curious as to what drove her to write these words. Her Aang and her son. What's their story? What promise did they share? What is it? Is there something on your mind? No, nothing. It's just that... Is it really for us to take on a wish tied to life and death? She knows the pain of separation from a loved one better than anyone else. If we handle this wrong... So that's what you're worried about. It seems what Bai just said about you is true. You do have a gentle soul. <laughs> Ever thought about becoming the mysterious wish granter of Moon Tree Lodge yourself? You're right to be concerned, but... The Moon Tree Lodge's very existence is to have every wish be heard. Ignoring people's pain isn't right. Besides, we're not trying to force Mrs. Herring to make a choice. Our role is to listen, understand, and reflect. Ultimately, the choice lies in Mrs. Herring's hands. But it's getting late. Let me know when you're ready for our next task. Excuse me? You must be Mrs. Herring? Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Oh, hello. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Who might you be? My name is Xiang Li Yao, and this is the rover. I apologize for the unannounced visit, ma'am. Rover? Rover? Why does that sound so familiar? Oh, I remember now. You're the hero of Jinzhou, aren't you? Defeated that terrible beast. Everyone's been talking about it. My thanks to you. You've realized my son's vision. Oh, how joyful he'd be seeing Jinjo now. Since he was little, my boy dreamed of shielding me and all of Jinjo. He'd always say, I'll conquer the Thranodian one day so everyone can live peacefully. That's what drove him to join the Midnight Rangers. Huh, yes. I always had faith that my son would achieve his dreams. He never stopped striving. Once, he and some rangers stayed behind during a mission to give folks like me a chance to flee. I know he did it to chase his dreams, but... But now he's gone. And he'll never witness the defeat of the Thranodians. I just... Oh. We used to celebrate every moon-chasing festival at the stalls. And he'd make wishes at the Moon Tree Lodge. His mischief sometimes tried my patience. But now... The silence is overwhelming. I can't help but wonder if... If he's lonely wherever he is. Oh! Perhaps I should join him. But before he left, he made me promise to be witness to the day the Thranodians are finally gone. What am I to do? Oh dear, I've rambled on about my boy again. What brings you here today, dear? Do you remember the wish you made at the Moon Tree Lodge, Mrs. Herring? Well, of course. I do. Everyone knows the Moon Tree Lodge has magical powers. I see. You must have been sent here to help me fulfill my wish. Is that right? You granted his wish beautifully. I trust you might do the same for mine. Though, really, I have nothing much left to ask for. As I've mentioned in my wish, I find myself at a crossroads, unable to decide. I hope the Moon Tree Lodge can clear my doubts. When deciding your answer... Oh, yes. I recall they say it's best to speak the answer in front of the Moon Tree Lodge. Oh. Yes, absolutely. Mrs. Her Ing, might you consider a visit to the lodge with us? The Taoyuan Vale is preparing for the moonlit fair, and the atmosphere is quite lively. 
Perhaps a walk will lift your spirits. A walk? Oh, my heart hasn't really been in it since I lost my son. And, well, my legs don't carry me as well as they used to. Well, okay. If you think it might help find the answers, then perhaps we should try. What was that about? <laughs> it was just a little trick to get Mrs. Herting to join us at the lodge. You probably sensed it after hearing her story. The promise between Mrs. Herting and her son wasn't just about seeing his wish granted, but about finding peace in her life, in her grief. Mrs. Herring overlooked what her son truly wished for. I believe he wanted her to see Jinjo uniting to defeat the Thronodian and the joy and security he sacrificed himself to safeguard. His wish for his mother represents not just life's simple joys, but also the courage to keep living. Though I can't say for certain, the moonlit fair in Taoyuan Vale holds the dreams of many. Perhaps there's something her son wanted her to see, a reason to embrace life. Oh, how are you youngsters falling behind an old lady? Come on, I'm waiting on you. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Would you like to browse our fan paintings? This one is exquisite. Just look at the fireworks bursting to life on the fan. I've never seen anything like it. You have excellent taste, Mom. This fan is the creation of Ms. Judja. It's the Moon Chasing Festival from her imagination. The fireworks seem to fly to the other side of the fan. And these Capes. Ah, yes. They represent the Midnight Rangers. A special touch from Ms. Jujia. She hopes that everyone who sees this fan will feel the liveliness of the Moon Chasing Festival and remember that the festivities are all thanks to the brave Rangers. The fireworks flying to the other side are meant to share the celebration with the soldiers on the front lines. This year's fireworks display will be the biggest yet. Even the soldiers should be able to see it. You won't want to miss it. I'd like to buy one of these fails. Ah, the Moon Shooter Gallery. My son was so good. Every year at the Moonlit Fair, it was his favorite. Mrs. Her... <clears throat> Happy Moon Chasing Festival, everyone. Want to give the Moon Shooter game a try? Lots of rewards to be had. Wow. Very impressive shooting skills. Here are your prizes. These prizes? Did you make them yourself? That's right. The Moonlit Fair is about community, so we thought practical items would be more meaningful. A ranger instructor taught us how to make them. Even though he's no longer with us, his instructions and methods continue to guide us. These tools were a great help when we first joined the rangers. We've now improved them to help even more people. Please take them, Mrs. Herring. I'm sure Shouyuan would want you to have them. And you are... You might not remember, but after Shouyuan passed, I tried to visit you. You didn't want to see me then. I never expected we'd meet here. It's good to see you out and about. Shouyuan always talked about how good a mother you were. By the way, some of the soldiers who served with Shouyuan are here today. I'm sure they'd love to see you. Look, here they come. It's an honor to finally meet you, Mrs. Herring. Shouyuan was an incredible mentor to me. I wouldn't have the nerve to wield a weapon now if it wasn't for him. I heard you were the one who taught him how to overcome his fear of the water. So, the boy taught you everything I taught him. Mrs. Herring? Mrs. Herring? Oh, I'm still here. Please, go on. I'd love to hear more stories about Shouyuan's time with the rangers. Of course, ma'am. Why don't we go have a seat over there first? We've got plenty of stories to share with you. Before that, 
Thank you, Shangli Yao and Rover. Just as I said before, I knew that both of you would make my wish come true. But before I visit the Moon Tree Lodge for the answer, I'd like to walk around a bit more. I trust that this answer will be right for you. Yes. Thank you. Do you think Mrs. Hung understood the promise she made to her son? We can't be sure just yet, but at least she's made a good start. Don't you agree? Now she isn't just going along with us. She's searching for the life her son wanted for her. I believe she'll uncover her answer someday and make her own choice. But, but it means this wasn't the wish affecting Patty either. We'll have to keep digging. At any rate, more stalls are being set up in Taoyuan Vale. Care to explore further? I happen to catch the boy's wish. He aspires to heroism, a feat of spirit that humbles even a grown man like myself. His wish comes from a place of real valor and sincerity. However, he wishes to become a hero by awakening his forte. Awakening forte is an intricate process, and the disparity between a resonator and an ordinary person's abilities is significant. In our current time frame, I must confess, the Academy's current research in this domain is rather limited. If we are to approach it from this angle, I'm afraid I may not be able to help the boy much, at least before the Moonlit Fair arrives. I concur. Thinking back on a few scenes from the hero plays, Flame Ranger did not rely solely on his forte and abilities to achieve his heroic feats. Courage, perseverance, and support from his companions were all indispensable elements. Your idea of finding a real-life role model to show the boy a more grounded version of heroism is indeed a viable approach. So. Have you decided who this hero should be? A fine suggestion. I have always admired General Jian. However, any form of recording involving the Midnight Rangers would require prior clearance. With the moonlit fair on the horizon, time may not allow it. Actually, the person I have in mind embodies courage, perseverance and leadership with steadfast companions who would stand by him, never backing down even in the face of powerful enemies. There's no need to look far. You are the most suitable candidate. Your actions alone in saving Jin Zhou have earned you the title of hero. A true hero is defined not by grand gestures, but by their actions. Authenticity is key. Just chronicle your daily life and let your true self shine through. The Pangu Terminal can record your daily activities. Before you begin, I'll make some enhancements to provide you with additional assistance. Thank you for your hard work so far. It will take some time to analyze the fourth wish. I'll contact you after it's complete. The Moonlit Fair is approaching. I hope that all the wishes in the Moon Tree Lodge will soon come true. Tazard Field. Hate. Pathgar. The world. Thank you for coming, Rover. Is that the smell of Sonoro? Patty is now a portal to a Sonoro sphere. It's built up frequencies, likely resonated with something, and created this. 
Should we alert the Midnight Rangers? But then... Well, then people might think there's another TD outbreak. Now, since a major fight has just happened, I think we should... We'll handle it ourselves. Ah. You're already planning to do so. I can tell. <laughs> yes. I've thought it through. I believe that would be the most practical solution. If the Sonoro is benign, we can all breathe a sigh of relief. And worst case scenario, if it turns malignant, you'll have no trouble handling it. I just didn't expect you to bring it up first. I guess I wasted time hesitating. You hesitated because of the name Pascar? Yes. He was a close friend of mine. He died from the Wave Worn. I think... If this Sonoro Sphere is related to him, it must contain his messages for me. This is my personal request, Rover. Please help me. Sure thing. In fact, I'm also doing this for a personal reason. You are? I promised my friends we'd enjoy the Moonlit Fair together tonight. We can't let this incident ruin the festivity. <laughs> Thank you, Rover. Let's enter the Sonoro now. Well, like they say, you wouldn't know what's inside of Sonoro's soul until you're actually inside it. What's happening? Uh, the Sonoro is pushing us out! Rover, here! My hand! Pause and feel. Hate. Hunger. The world. Hate. Shelly. Yo! Rover! Yeah. <sighs> Thank goodness you're awake. Hmm. I'm glad the Sonora didn't throw us out. But why us? What did we even do? Maybe. It has something to do with that Pascar person. Anyway, we should find Shang Li Yao first. myself. My name's Pascar. They're Modi and Ryan. What's your name? I'm Shang Li Yao. Shang Li Yao? Jeez, you're Mrs. Shang Li Yen's son. Whoa, so you're that genius everyone's been talking about? Um... <laughs> wow, I heard you've never been second to anyone in school. Mm-hmm. No way! I heard you finished an entire school year's classes in one week! Mm-hmm. That's amazing! And you've solved a century-old problem for the Academy, too? Huh? Is that what they've been saying about me? <laughs> You're so cool! Chill, boss. You might scare him. You're just like my big sis when she meets her idol. <sighs> Shush! <clears throat> Sorry, 
Uh, I got ahead of myself. By the way, we're going to the Moonlit Fair. Care to join us? Are you... sure? <laughs> of course you can. We can make you the new boss, even. The... boss? Uh, yeah, like our leader. But that's not important. The real question is... Do you want to play with us? I... Uh, sorry. I think I'll stay at home. I must wait for my dad. Your dad? The big inventor mentioned in the headlines? Said he's gone missing. Hey, shut up! Mm. We gotta go now. Come find us anytime you want to play. I don't like being alone. Don't know if you feel the same. Anyway, we're here. When you need to chat or someone to hang out with. Okay. Oh, that looks like something from Xiang Li Yao's childhood. Hmm. Could his memories be affecting this Sonoro's frequencies? Maybe it's not just his memories. Wait! <gasps> we can go through that door now. Let's move! What is this place? A wishing stall? But the decorations don't match this year's theme. Touch anything or read anything here, like we did in the last room. There are some wish tags on the floor. Let's read them. Hoping to be heard, missing a departed son, wanting to become a hero. These are the wishes of the people I've helped. There are two more wish tags. can be really sharp. Can't believe I actually got a zero. What a bummer. I'm not even in the mood for wishes now. Still upset about what happened in class? I mean, aren't we supposed to learn by doing? That's what we've been taught since day one. We know next to nothing about the wave-worn phenomena, and our equipment is useless. Shouldn't we go explore it firsthand? <laughs> but how? Should we set up a lab by a waveworn site like you said in class? It's too risky. If something goes wrong, the staff won't make it. But this is the martyrdom of science, the necessary sacrifice. Like chemists who sampled unknown substances, we must risk it all for the ultimate truth. Really? Do we have to risk it all? Of course! You want food, you pay. You want pay, you work. Give something to get something. When the truth of this world, the ultimate knowledge, is on the line, one must be willing to give up everything they have. We'll discuss it later. Modi and Ryan want to catch up. How about meeting them today? I have no time. You've been avoiding them since they failed the entrance exam. It's necessary. As intellectuals, we must walk a solitary path. Those who can't keep up will only hold us back. It's best to leave them behind sooner rather than later. Why would a genius like you care about their feelings anyway? With your father as a role model, distraction should be beneath you. Come on, what if they drag you down? But I don't think we have to be lonely as intellectuals. Remember that old Boon Tree Lodge tale from a decade ago? Write a wish, hang it on the wishing tree, and presto, your wish comes true. But let's be real, there's gotta be a person running that show. Because when the word got out, it just stopped working. More wishes were made, but how many actually came true? 
Not many. See? Not even that unsung hero of the Lodge had time to grant every wish. Our time in this world is limited, so let's focus on the truth, not triviality. <sighs> Trying to organize your arguments to refute me? <laughs> Go ahead if you must, Mr. Genius. You know, I only said that because I value you as my only friend and opponent. I just don't want you to get distracted. It's not satisfying to outdo someone when they're not at their best. Well, that's enough talk for today. I'll make my wish now. Let's see. Well, wishing tree, please make the wave horn happen. Then I can finally study it up close. <gasps> Pascar! <laughs> Chill, dude. Just kidding. As an intellectual, I must prioritize my pursuit of truth. Even if it means a life of solitude, then... Father, why did I find drive shafts of your design in the Moon Tree Lodge? You were never home during moon chasing festivals. Were you busy helping other people? If that's what you did, does it mean I don't really have to be alone? <sighs> what should I do? Hey, Shang Li! What are you doing there? Come on, we gotta go now. Okay. The festival must mean something different to him. Is that why he's running the Moon Tree Lodge after his father's passing? Is that a form of human connection too? Sort of. Are we sharing that kind of connection right now? Well, I'd say you've been haunting me, like a ghost. Haunting? <laughs> no way. Admit it. I'm just living rent-free in your head. <laughs> sure, if you say so. Now, back to the topic. We've been seeing Pascar and Shangli Yao's past exclusively so far. So? But why can't we get through the doors before Shangli Yao opens them? Ah, uh, strange indeed. It's almost as if he owns this place. Or maybe he holds the key. Is it similar to what Scar did to me? No, I can't tell for sure yet. Let's press on. We need to go deeper to uncover the truth. <sighs> this room isn't empty. Our research has been great. Hopefully we'll keep this momentum going into the next year. With the progress we've made so far, we'll surely figure out the tacit fields one day. Well, we have Pascar and Shang Li Yao to thank. Yeah, where did Shang Li go? He's never here with us during the moon chasing festival. end up back in the same place. Another failed experiment. When will we invest in better equipment for accurate results? This is pointless. The wave one has destroyed all our theories. There's no pattern at all. Our research has been a waste of time. It's all your fault. We need Shang Li Yao. Pasca, where is Shang Li Yao? Where the hell is he?
This is the third time we've circled back here. Let's look around and get out of here. Quick. I can't do this anymore. It's over. I'm useless. Nonsense. It's all nonsense. Countless errors. No solution. It's not me. It's them. No. It's the world. The whole world is wrong. <laughs> Where is Shang Li Yao? You're nobody compared to him, Pasca. even worse than yesterday, when he wrote down his wish. The others are probably no better than him. too depressing, but if it ever comes true, I have a feeling it's gonna be hella dangerous. Hmm. I think I know who the remaining two will be. Science doesn't exist. We knew it. We knew it right from the start. The wave one phenomenon defies all laws of physics. And the worst part? It's completely random. We need more data. How are we supposed to study the task field in this chaos? I knew it. We never have enough samples. Now, if we could make the wave more disasters happen more often, don't you try to stop me, cowards! You don't even have the guts to sacrifice for the truth. You all despise me. Thinking I'll never surpass Yang Li Yao, right? <laughs> if this were his idea, not a single one of you would object. Fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I did it! Now I'm just a heartbeat away from success. Stay back! Stay away from here! His wish achieved. He is not guilty. We must trigger the wave worn tested field. Oh, he can't be serious. So, he's gonna trigger the wave-worn disaster like Pascar planned to? We shouldn't jump to conclusions yet. Not based on a few broken words. He's willing to go to great lengths for other people. He wouldn't want to do that. My friend's quest for truth was genuine till his last breath! 
I will not let you tarnish his goal like that! Huh? It's Xiang Li Yao! He's right behind this door! But it won't budge! Then I'll smash it open. Huh? By brute force? area of the Sonorosphere. Haskar, are you there? Sorry, Rover. I must go and face him myself. Stop hiding, Haskar. We can talk it out. belong to more than one person.
my friend's quest for truth was genuine to his last breath. I will not let you tarnish his goal like that. Stay back! Stay away from here! Again, I am not a ghost! The wave worn gobbled up and then spit out some weak frequencies. But this one smells... strange. Hmm. Was it affected by something else? Ascar, it's me, Xiang Liao. Do you recognize me? Stay back. The wave horn's coming. Stay away from here. Huh? Didn't he set it off in the first place? Calm down. We are safe here. No wave worn or tacit field around. Nothing's happening to me. See? Xiang Liao? Yes, I'm listening. Pascar, what do you want me to know? I should have stayed at the academy. I shouldn't have taken anything without permission. But I did it. I figured it all out. The tacit field's frequency. Made a prototype detector, too. It predicts where the tacit fields are forming. I... I should have kept the documents. Should have informed you. I was thrilled. Blinded by the success. But then my prototype. Gone. Everything gone. The margin of error was too big. Not enough time, not enough range. When I got there, the wave worn had already. Ah. Oh, I see. So the wave worn had devoured me. And the last person I saw was. You saw me. Yes. Yes, I remember. It's all coming back to me now. I didn't trigger the wave worn. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And what else? Pen. Give me a pen. I must write down my research results. I must show you. I need a pen. Hurry. Pascar. I've been trying to tell you for so so long. I just want to let you know. I identified the tacit field special frequency. I... I never hated you. I just... I wanted to save the world. It's all in vain. Now everyone must see me as the culprit. <laughs> Can't blame you. After what I said, of course you'd... No. Your sacrifice was not in vain. Your research has inspired many, even attracting interest from the Black Shores, that mysterious organization. They've actually sent one of their consultants to learn about the theory. Even the Black Shores? Their faces couldn't hide the shock. It was truly a sight to behold. Even I burst out laughing. We're still searching for a way to recreate your prototype. But the Pascar Spectrum Theory has gained global recognition and is advancing tacit field research. Pascar... Spectrum? Yes, it's your theory. We named it after you. Our classmates and I, we found your notes after the Waveworn receded. After filling in the missing information, we restored this theory and named it after you. <laughs> really? Yes, and we all know it wasn't your fault. So, my research actually helped others? It did, and it will keep on benefiting people. <sighs> That's great to hear. Thank you. 
Thank you, my friend. Please. Please witness the world we've protected. On my behalf. My wish has come true. Thank you, Wishing Tree. Rover, let's witness Pascar's wish together. When I'm older, I'll be the best scientist ever. <laughs> I'll help people and everyone will love me. I'll lead the way in making lots of cool discoveries. Pascar, you've been here with us all along. Wow, so that's the real story. We've helped make four wishes come true now. Or maybe it's actually five. Five? <laughs> but we only have four wish tags here. That must be the exit. Let's get out of here first, Yao. Hey, what did you mean? <laughs> Tell me. Are you all right? It's not uncommon to feel a bit queasy after leaving the Sonorosphere. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Given the situation is now under control, it should be fine. I will check on Patty. You might need some time alone to process what just happened. Uh, don't worry about me, Rover. I can handle the rest myself. It's just a quick checkup on Patty. Go join the celebration down the mountain. Remember those kids you promised to meet up with? They must be waiting for you. Besides, I need some time to prepare a small gift for you as thanks. I'll eh, catch up with you later. Sorry I kept you waiting, Rover. No worries. Is Patty all right? I found some unusual frequencies inside its body. Not sure if that's the Sonorosphere's influence. Out of safety concerns, I locked it up for the time being. Normally I would, but not this time, because I promised you a gift. Here, please take this. I know you're going to the Moonlit Fair. Here's a camera to capture memories for you to keep. It can be. <laughs> Maybe I should include it in the employee handbook. <laughs> Not yet. That's why I'm about to write one. I couldn't have solved this so fast without you by my side. Those wishes were their cries for help. 
someone had to act fast and save them, or there could have been severe consequences. Thanks to your help, people can see their wishes come true. The fulfilled wishes bring warmth and comfort to be shared by many more. In the end, the Moon Tree Lodge kept its promise to everyone, including Pascar. What about you? What is your wish? My wish? I haven't really thought about it in a while. But I may already know the answer to your question. It's the same reason I'm taking care of the Moon Tree Lodge. I want to follow in our pioneer's footsteps. Those who forsake everything in pursuit of truth, and those who dedicate their lives to the welfare of others. My parents each embodied one path. They were my role models, and I have strived to emulate them both. Their passing left me searching for answers, for a way to find balance between the two. That was why I inherited the Moon Tree Lodge. Still, I've often questioned, how closely should I follow my parents' paths? Should I abandon all social connections in pursuit of the elusive ultimate truth? Like in a certain story. But in the end, you didn't do that. No, I didn't. Because Pascar found me and brought me out of my room. Without him, I never would have known about my father's ties to the Moon Tree Lodge. When Pascar left the Academy, I considered going with him. Perhaps we are the same kind of people after all. I wanted to give up everything for the ultimate truth, but I still craved companionship. That's why I hesitated. Seeking truth can be futile. It's like constantly pushing a boulder uphill, only for the lament to send it back down every time. In this disaster-stricken world, our beliefs, innovations, even entire societies risk falling into oblivion in an instant. Still, someone must push the boulder of curiosity and explore uncharted territories beyond that hill. I've longed to push that boulder, Rover. Perhaps one day, I'll give in to the urge even if it means leaving everything behind. Because it's there. Hard to resist the temptation when truth feels so close. Almost within reach. I've been trying to tell you for so, so long. I just want to let you know. It's all right. You can venture as far as you need to. You will always return to open arms. The way you've always tried to clear Pascar's name, how he's done his utmost to tell you the truth, that's what we call a human connection. That's why your memory worked as a key in the Sonorosphere. Have more faith in humanity. The hero who pushed the boulder of truth for us all will be remembered. And the bond between people will endure. Because we are here for you. Always. Hey! Over here! Your friends are calling out to you. Go. Don't keep them waiting. They say some vendors offer discounts to people visiting together. Yes, some of them. Well, come with me then. Make it another perk of working for the Moon Tree Lodge. Uh, but I... You have a promise to keep, remember? Thank you, my friend. Please, please witness the world we've protected on my behalf.
Yes, I do. What's up with you two? Come on, let's go! about time. Behold, the Moonlit Fair's final show. That's the Moon Lantern! Not exactly. Thanks to you, every wish has been fulfilled. As for what I'm doing, <laughs> consider it some kind of after-sales service. I light and hang the fulfilled wishes. When the wisher cannot do it themselves, I do it for them. Then we can do it together next year. I had just finished with the last one before you arrived. Most of the fulfilled wishes had already been put up during the festival. There weren't many left from the beginning. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You've already been a huge help. It's your first time celebrating Moon Chasing Festival in Jinjo. You deserve to have more fun. I can handle the rest on my own. Yes, you deserve to have fun. Rewind. 
Taking a necessary break is not a waste of time. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. As the festivities wind down, the moonlit fair stalls remain open. Perhaps you'd like to visit for one last round. You may even find some deals and specials at this time. Having been to the fair every year, I always make time to explore the stalls that catch my interest. Stay with us in Jinzhou for a couple more years, then I'm sure you'll become very familiar with the fair too. <laughs> Indeed, I find joy in scientific research, immersing myself in data and theories, verifying various possibilities. It's a blissful experience. But sometimes, taking a break from work to join the jubilant crowd brings a different kind of joy. My favorite stall. <laughs> You've probably been there already. Yes, I remember you seemed to enjoy it last time, with your exceptional prowess in combat. I bet you're good at shooting, too. Then, may I suggest something more challenging? A moon shooter is very popular. While the stall owner changes the targets daily, the frequent use has caused some wear and tear. That's why we need to lower the muzzle a bit. Now here's the exciting part. Rotate the gun slightly and align it with the rabbit's ear. Then you may hit two targets simultaneously. It's all about finding the right angle and the bullet might rebound toward the next one. Yes, you'll need to use the right angle and utilize the momentum. It's kind of like stone skipping. I first tried it two years ago. On a good day, I could hit three targets at once. They've been using my record as a promotional gimmick, offering an exclusive souvenir to anyone who can break it. With the rover as the new challenger, I may not hold that record for long. If I were to try that, I'd have to calculate the bullet trajectory to two decimal places. Which technically isn't impossible with my prosthetic hand. But I'll probably get banned from ever playing again. Rover, I'll stick to using my left hand to keep it a safe and fair competition. <laughs> well, jokes aside, I value the process more than the outcome. To me, it's all about having a good time, after all. This isn't a scientific inquiry, and there's no end goal. We're here to enjoy ourselves, and I want to do that to the fullest. What do you think? <laughs> Glad we're on the same page. Uh, can I make a request, then? Will you join me for next year's Moon Chasing Festival? <laughs> You heard me. The idea came to me as we gazed at the moon side by side. While I'm not sure where you'll be, or what you'll be doing then, I want to invite you anyway. I'm not planning to have you help me with the wishes at Moon Tree Lodge again. Maybe we'll try and... Though it's still a long time before next year's celebration, I can't help but imagine what we might do together. I don't have a specific plan yet, but with you, Rover, I have a feeling it's going to be fun. This is the wish you made for next year's Moon Chasing Festival.
As the caretaker of Moon Tree Lodge and the Xiangli Yao, I promise to make it come true.